So my name is John Barry. I'm regional sales manager for the Midwest um, Innovation Center for Aero Environment. We are here at AUSA uh, talking about the Vapor 55 and 35 aircrafts and the family of systems for Aero Environment. So Vapor presents itself as a platform that is um, has multiple use cases um, in an electric, uh, all electric vehicle. It's vertical takeoff and landing. So uh, its mission sets are uh, such that it um, acts kind of like a pickup truck in its ability to carry a, a number of different payloads, um, such that we can go to the client and say, what is it that you needed to do? And then we can build that capability into the Vapor aircraft. So advanced avionics is probably the top. Uh, that allows for stability, control, and safety in flight ops. Um, endurance is kind of a, a byproduct of those advanced flight controls. So to be able to fly one hour of max endurance into our max specs um, is pretty significant in, uh, in that competitive market where no one else is able to achieve those numbers. Um, and payload flexibility. So we have the ability to carry a, a multitude of different sensors, including multiple sensors at one time, so that we can cover uh, you know, a, a, a number of use cases in one, one flight on. So Vapor 35 is a nose mount payload based system. Um, uh, ISR, uh, photogrammetry for, for mapping applications in commercial. Um, we can use uh, LiDAR systems on the Vapor 35 in the front mount payload bay hyperspectral cameras, I mean, it really becomes what can fit into the volume of the payload bay and the weight specs of the aircraft, and then we can integrate it. So it, it provides for that flexibility. The Vapor 55 has a forward and an aft payload bay that allows for multiple sensors because of its payload weight capacity of up to 10 pounds for the max endurance of one hour. Uh, we can carry a, a sensor in the front uh, payload bay and in the rear uh, aft payload bay um, at the same time within those weight and volume specs. For an ISR application, you can put a EOIR gimbal um, on the front of a Vapor 55 and then you can have a drop mechanism that could have emergency medical supplies or it could have pieces of equipment in there that are necessary for communications, those types of things that can fly out, drop, be able to see specifically where it is and then fly back.